YouTubes. How are we all doing? I hope you're all well. Uh, today's video is just going to be a quick painting video. So it's a, a couple of bumpers I've got to do. So I'll give you a quick quick look at them and, and just give you a quick explanation of what we've done to them. So they're, it's a front and a rear bumper off of a Mazda CX-5 it is. Um, so yeah, the back bumper had a bit of a crease and a dent and a little split in the plastic there around that area. See it on the back. Do a little bit of plastic welding on that and a bit of filler work and then a couple of sort of scrapes and dings there. So that was a repair on the back bumper and then prepped it all, primed it and prepped it all, all in 500 grit. And the front bumper had a little crease on one side, had another scuff on the other side and then a few stone chips and stuff on it. So yeah, gonna try and keep this video as short as possible but show all the spraying on this. Um, so I've sorted the color out. So it's gonna have a coat, I'm gonna put a coat of wet, wet on wet on this. Me put uh, four plus one in the wet and wet mixing ratio. And then uh, two and a half coats of base coat, me put water base, so it'd be half a coat, double coat, and then a drop coat. And then two coats of clear coat would be me per CX4. And it'd be my usual spray guns that I do on most jobs. 1500B with a 1.4 for the wet on wet. Uh, X5500, uh, 1.2i HVLP and my SATA jet 1.3 cc for the clear coat so i'll get all the get all the paint mixed i'll get the wet and wet on there first mix the color get that on there then the clear coat try and do this as quick as possible this job right let's get mixing up and we get some paint on it
Right then YouTube, so that's the Mazda bumpers all finished. And um, I'll give you a quick look. So yeah, this, this was done with CX2. And um, I tell you what, what I'm really liking about CX2 is um, it's really fast drying. And the gloss is good. It's, I tell you what it's, it is really, it's really good for. Um, like Mazda's, the paint finish on Mazda's, it, <clears throat> you know, let's be honest, it's, it's awful. I'll give it, when this job's fitted up, we'll, we'll have a look at the car. The paint finish is awful. So if I paint, if I painted a panel that looks like the finish on their Mazda's, I, I wouldn't be happy with it. Um, but you've got to try and replicate the finishes on the cars. Um, so CX2 I'm finding, it's not the ultimate gloss and it's not glass, you know, it's not going to be glassy and really wet looking, but for, for your everyday, you know, economical cars, you know, your normal cars, Mazda's, Toyota's, all your run of the mill stuff, it matches the, per the finish perfectly f for, the, for those types of cars. And um, I intentionally try to match the finish, you know, let's be honest, look, we'll have a look at the finish on this. It's shiny and it's pretty clean and there's not many defects in it. There'll be the odd little defect here and there. There always is. Um, so yeah, the finish, it's pretty crap to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a bit, this has been wet on wetted as well. So it will draw in a little bit, which is a bit of an advantage really with it drawing in because it matches the master finish even better when it draws in. So yeah, it's a, it's a you know, it's got a bit of a tight orange peel. Um, you know, <clears throat> by no means is it a, an amazing finish, you know, but it matches the car perfectly. And that, you know, that's, that's what I want to achieve when I paint a car. I want it to look like no one's done any paint work on it. This job was super wet and really flat and really deep gloss on it, it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb on that car. Especially on, on, you know, bumpers are a little bit different, but especially on, you know, on one of the panels, say, a couple of doors or something, it would, it would just, just wouldn't look right. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, the combination of this CX2 and using that CC gun where it lays it down a bit finer and a bit of a, a you know, a tighter orange peel, not as thick and as, and chunky. Um, it's perfect, so, you know, I'm really happy with that because the finish is pretty much like the car. Not that great, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give you, you know, my opinion on, the, on that 6.2. It, that's what it's, I'm finding. The, the, the more and more I've been using it now, the drying's brilliant, the gloss is good, and, and it matches, it matches your everyday, you know, factory production orange peel. It matches it perfectly and you, and you can sort of manipulate it a little bit to, to suit the car, which I think, you know, only it's just my opinion. I think, you know, that's what you want to achieve. Um, try and get it out of the gun, gun finish, not a, not a great finish by any means, but a finish that matches the car, which is, um, I think that's, you know, that's what I ultimately try, try, try to achieve on, on every job. I try to change my setups or the clear coat, depending on what that finish is on the car. Um, so yeah, that's what it's come out like. A little bit drawn in, a little bit of a tight orange peel. Um, it's shiny, but not like massive depth of gloss on it. But I think, you know, it's not far off what it should look like from a factory sort of finish. So yeah, that's what I thought, I thought I'd just show you it and, and talk about that and talk about the CX2, um, what I'm finding with it, which is, um, yeah, the results I'm getting it, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with results wise. What I mean by is, uh, you know, trying to, trying to match the factory orange peel was, that's always my ultimate goal really is, is to make a paint job look like it hasn't been painted. And um, you know, F, there's so many different variations of finishes that we can all achieve, but I just don't think, you know, it's right to be trying to put, 
super glossy, super wet glass finishes on cars that haven't got that finish. It, it just doesn't look right to me. And, it's, and then it looks like it's been painted without a doubt. So um, yeah, that being said, a bit of a waffle, I know. Um, we're gonna get, get these bumpers fitted on the car and then when they're fitted on the car, uh, we'll go round it. Hopefully the colors are right. <laughs> we'll go round it and, um, and we'll, we'll see what it looks like to the finish on the car because the finish on the car in the workshop Oh, it's, it's horrendous. If I painted it, I'd be so disappointed <laughs> if it came out like that. But that's how they are. And they're all like it, the Mazdas. They're, they're awful. They're probably one of the worst paint finishes on production cars out there. Um, so, yeah, sometimes it's harder to achieve a bad finish, if you know what I mean, than it is to achieve a better finish. Um, but there we are. Um, yeah, so we'll get these bumpers fitted back on the car and then um, get, it, get it all cleaned up and, um, and we'll have a final look at it outside. That's the Mazda CX... <laughs> CX2. Right then, YouTube, that's the Mazda CX5 uh, all fitted back together and all finished. So I'll give you a quick look at it. all fit back together well well that's what Reese informed me anyway it did we've done a good job of stripping and fitting it it was a little bit of a mission these are quite quite a large bumper to to strip down when they're off there's the back one as well and oh yeah pleased with the color color's gone in okay to be fair not too bad never 100 percent but doesn't stand out too much and um but, but yeah sort of I don't know if you can see it on the camera but like the finish on these masters uh oh they're horrible <laughs> they really are it doesn't probably show up on the camera too much but anyone in this trade knows if they've worked on masters what the finish is like on them they're all pretty much the same really dry not a lot of depth of gloss to them and um real tight sort of orange peel on them yeah not not very, uh, not very pleasing to the eye, Maz Mazda paint finishes. So hopefully I've replicated that, not making excuses for doing a bad job. Um, but I tried to, tried to, like I say, I tried to, try to get the finish, like, you know, like the factory finish, so it doesn't look like it's been painted. But um, yeah, mine's not far off it. Mine's a bit drawn in and a bit, and a bit tight on the orange peel. And um, yeah, just give it a quick whip over with a polisher really. It just wasn't, wasn't really any nibs to do. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's about it for this job. Well, thanks, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you again in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. <laughs>